Well, I just wanted to come on behalf of our office, uh, the Governor and I are extremely grateful uh, to obviously the local uh, team of professionals who were able to marshal resources along with uh, approximately six state agencies uh, to respond uh, to an, an unpredictable uh, force that came uh, through Conway uh, and, and here in the western part of our state. Uh, today, uh, I have the opportunity, along with our, our state delegation, Secretary uh, Mima, to, to now see that in about 36 hours, uh, due to the incredible efforts of Eversource, our power is fully restored. Uh, roads, approximately 30 that were closed uh, shortly after the form are reopened and you're now seeing an assessment of the structures to determine whether they are safe for people to occupy. And uh, in, this, in this instance here, uh, we have a homeowner and a business owner who is seeing uh, the destruction of many years of collections. Uh, he endeavors to uh, continue uh, this hobby, which is now a business for him. But this is an incredible community that was touched uh, by a force of nature uh, that could have could have caused even more harm. Uh, we're grateful that no one was hurt in this process and that the emergency response was rapid, it was collaborative, and it worked. And at this time, uh, as uh, state leaders, we will continue to work with local officials. Being a small town with a $5 million budget, less than 2,000 people, uh, they obviously uh, have limited resources in which to uh, fully uh, restore this community. The first uh, order of business was restoring electricity. Uh, they were able to restore 100% uh, of the electricity in this community, which was very important. Uh, oftentimes, many of us would take advantage um, uh, because we have public water and sewer. This is a community that has all private wells and private sewer, so electricity was very important uh, to restore, and due to the efforts of uh, Eversource, that has been done. Uh, the uh, physical assessment of the buildings uh, and we have state building inspectors working with the local teams to assess the, the structures from a public safety uh, standpoint is critical at this point. Sometimes you might not think that a structure is unsafe until you actually have experts uh, really making sure that they are physically sound. And then of course clearing the debris from the roads uh, on, on the public ways and I know that there are private teams out here as well to help some of the residences. And finally, uh, you know, calculation of what it what it costs for a community like Conway to pay overtime, uh, pay for these uh, private vendors to come in and uh, stabilize and secure this community is something that uh, we as state officials will work on together. Uh, soon after the tornado uh, touched here in Conway, uh, within about two hours, there was a state of emergency declared for this community, which then allowed for Conway to be able to override procurement rules and bring the necessary vendors into play here. Uh, according to my conversations with Mima, it's unlikely perhaps that there will be federal uh, funds available uh, and we will have to work as a team, uh, local and state, to determine uh, what costs uh, are being borne by this community and what we need to do to assist them in the weeks ahead. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, deep destruction uh, to a bucolic rural community that was not uh, predicted. So a force of nature uh, coming into a community on a Saturday evening when homeowners were enjoying a meal uh, and, and in the warm weather, which was unprecedented also, were caught by surprise uh, by this storm. And uh, we are very fortunate that no one was injured uh, because of the force of this nature. I think we were all surprised by the warm weather that uh, came upon us this weekend, but none of us, uh, including the National Weather Service, uh, predicted this level of storm uh, touching in this part of the state. Uh, so I see a, a high level of, of damage and destruction and a community in recovery. For the man here, where he has an attached uh, business, he was contemplating whether to go into the barn and look for a valuable that one of his customers was looking for for having a beer. He and his wife chose to have a beer and relax. And uh, when they heard the, he described as a, 
as if like a train coming through the community went to the door and felt pulled out by uh, the force of the wind and went back in. So it, it was just a, uh, a miracle that uh, these individuals who were in their homes uh, were, were not um, injured uh, by the storm. Chris, what we're doing right now, we're making sure that everybody is safe, we're looking after the welfare of our residents first. We're doing assessments as far as the damage is concerned and the debris from falling trees and uh, other problems that we have. Uh, we're, we're basically in an assessment stage and an an analysis stage so that, uh, you know, in a day or two we'll be able to have more information to put out uh, uh, and get get more a, a more clear picture of, of where we stand in terms of finances and how well we're progressing uh, to solve this, this disaster. We had our own fire department and we had municipal aid from other fire departments who were going house to house making sure that residents, uh, you know, knew what happened because there were certain areas of town that weren't weren't hit but they were checking everybody and letting everybody know what had happened they did a, a did a, a monumental job at, at um, making sure that everybody was safe and and things were being taken care of